Alright, so here is my uh, custom ski bike conversion. Ski bike, snow bike, whatever you want to call it. Uh, early models, these things have been around for a while, but the early models um, actually required you to wear ski boots and little skis. And you pretty much had to drag your feet on the ground and steer yourself. So, I didn't want to go that route, so. What I decided to do was make a conversion kit that will, uh, you, you're able to bolt onto any bike. You could use a BMX bike, hardtail mountain bike. What I chose uh, for this project was a full suspension mountain bike. Uh, this particular one is a mongoose that I picked up uh, for 50 bucks, complete bike. Um, first thing you gotta do is strip down the bike. Um, Take all the, take the wheels off, crank, uh, chain, derailleurs, brakes. Basically, all you need is a frame, front fork, the stem, handlebar, and the saddle. Basically, uh, everything you see here. Um, as you'll notice, the cranks are gone, and in place of the cranks are uh, these modified pegs. Basically, they're the old pedals that I gutted out. So you need something to stand on while you're riding this thing. So they're gutted out pedals, fixed to the frame permanently uh, using an all-thread rod. Basically, it's a threaded rod that runs all the way through through where the bottom bracket should be and out the other. So it's pretty solid. And you notice the pedals don't spin, which is important. You need something sturdy to stand on while you're going down slopes. So that's basically the first step. Next step would be to find yourself a set of uh, ski blades or skis. I use ski blades because um, I felt that uh, you can you can use cut down. Um, full length skis but these are twin tipped and they are a little bit wider than uh, kid skis which some some people have used in the past so get you a set of those and now for the heart of the system this is the triangle bracket that I came up with to fix the skis to the to the bike and if you'll notice, it's the uh, factory wheel axle that I used um, as the hub. So basically, this thing can bolt onto any any front fork, and it does pivot. So it's a little bit design into that. And you notice the triangle is a little offset. I'll show you a little bit more about that. Rear back is identical to the front, just the axle width is slightly wider. So let me show you how more features of the bike. So you'll notice the offset triangle brackets designed it that way for a reason. When you catch air, everything tilts back. And you don't want to jump and have the tip dig into the ground when you land, so it took me a while to figure this out, but we'll see if this works. So far it seems like it will. Any angle you land, the ski tips stay up. So hopefully it works out. Try it out. So yeah, that's basically it. Next video is a show. I'm actually riding it, so let's see if it breaks. Alright, later.